for ourselves and brought these miserable empires to their knees. There is so much potential in you. So much you have not yet accomplished. I could show you things. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's Folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. But there isn't much time. The shore of it is. You saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. Ugh. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of... these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You all right?
There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates rule the waves, these men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irishwoman. 
Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. When my mind is saddled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Of all the money that ever I have, I spent it in. Good come and all the harm that e'er I've done. Alas, it was to none but me, and all I've done. You always know how to sail a boat. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you wrote only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steer your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship, large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> 
That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. You think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Ooh. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, uh, that's right, sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. <laughs> 